Hey, 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 hey guys, my name is Mikey and today I'm bringing you an epic video from Chris in his Enterprise D in the TFO Days of Doom. So guys, don't forget here in this fleet at TIEG and this community we do advocate mental health awareness so don't forget hashtag be safe hashtag mental health awareness hashtag LLAP live longer prosper Glad you could make it So guys don't forget also to check out our Patreon page thank you ever so much for your support on there guys it's been fantastic um well to keep it up and a massive massive shout out to a fellow youtuber master tt aka theo i'll link to his channels in the descriptions and congratulations bro on your newborn i hope you and yours are safe and well So guys, let me tell you a bit more now about the TFO Days of Doom. Days of Doom is a five-player cross-faction space queue with normal and advanced versions for level 50 to 60 players and elite versions for level 60 players. Basically, it's picking up warp cores, firing at enemies and dropping them off in front of a um, planet killer. Anyway, enough about that for the TFO for now, guys. So, the Enterprise D from the next generation is a fantastic cruiser. It's a brilliant ship for support, like for engineering tunes as well as science. It's also capable of source of separation, guys. So, brilliant T5, T5U ship. Engineering crews, to your posts. I've got a plan. This is Lieutenant Commander Scott at the shipyard. What's up, see what your is called? Time to kick some ass. Ooh, look at Chris kick some ass.
guys, we have an announcement. Well, in fact, we've got more than one. We've got a couple. So, TIEG has branded T-shirts. Please hit me up for sizing and pricing. We'll ship worldwide also. Guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Please, I want to get to 100 subscribers and over. So, uh, another announcement is Chris has now been promoted to the highest rank of rank 7 in-game and is a brand leader for TIEG. So, welcome to the team, bro. Welcome to the family. TIEG Discovery is your fleet. And, guys, if you are in-game, the uh, fleet is looking for some new senior crew as well so hit the comments down below also and tell us what you want to see in the next videos and i'll make sure you guys get the credit for it as well for your suggestion This TFO is really long-winded, guys. Basically, it's bloody boring. But so here are some pros and cons to this mission. So pros, I'm gonna. There's about two or three of each. So it's good for marks. Also good for target practice. Also good ship skills you can learn as well. Dropping that warp core and moving the hell out of the way before the planet killer absorbs it. So that's three co uh, three pros. Um, the cons would be it is quite long-winded and it's not aesthetically pleasing and sometimes it gets a bit tedious as well especially if people are firing practically well practically firing cotton balls so i'd rate the ship for the enterprise d eight out of ten there are a couple of things where it's slow for its turn rate that do affect it otherwise it would be nine and ten the tfo it's a very low four out of ten and i'm sure you guys can probably understand why just watching this video Scott here. The Dreadnought Warp Core is ready. Feed it to the Doomsday Machine before it makes a meal out of us. We shield it against the enemy weapons the best we can, but we don't have time to build another. Better make it count. All wings. The Federation has a new weapon. It is now the priority target over the Starbase.
What's up guys, my name's Mikey and you've been watching Chris in his Enterprise D in the TFO Days of Doom. Don't forget to be safe out there, that's all from me. See you in the skies, Captains. Ciao for now. Just like a